everyone, and welcome back to Gamer Tales Episode 2. You know what? The first episode was successful, so we're, we're continuing the series. My name is Brandon, and joining me today uh, from our last episode is... Steve. And joining us from our Little Jolly Gamer Show podcast all about what video games have been playing and video game news is... Yakum. <laughs> Yakum? Yakum. 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 Yes. Uh, that's Jacob. Yeah, I'm Jacob. In case you didn't know. It's uh, me. It's me. And so this podcast, which is a sub-series of the Little Jolly Gamer Show presents RSS feed. Spin-off, whatever you want to is, call it. Yeah. yeah, spin-off. Yeah, this is where we talk about our stories with, around... And about video games? Yeah, How does it go? Oh, wait, wait. Uh, no, I like, I, like the, uh, no, I like the width in front. The width at the end doesn't make a, sense. A width around and about video games. Not necessarily around the video about. games themselves, but Gamer Tales. How did we say it last time, Steve? We said basically, like, it might not even be a. Like, for example, our first episode yeah. was about Paper, Paper Mario, Mario and, and the Purple and, Mark. And the friendship that. Blossom. Blossom. We didn't. I mean, we mm. talked about Paper Mario a like, little bit. Yeah. yeah, we talked about Paper Mario a little bit, but that wasn't the point. The point yeah. was we want to talk about our experiences that Paper Mario created in our real life. Yeah. So this is kind of like our way to talk about our real life experiences with video games, like stories connected to it, yeah. background, like maybe it's like some inside jokes. Or and something. the center root is, right. is so, gaming. For example, today's episode, since you clicked on this and you're listening to it, you realize that this is about rental stores. Yeah. Which. Oh, well. So this this is this is yeah yeah and so here's another example of a future episode would be something like midnight launches for video games. Oh, can we please? Oh, gosh. that would be a really good one. Focus. Yeah, yeah, the uh, focus mitts. I got, I got, my, I got my focus mitts. Oh man, I wish I could have been there. That's the first and last time my wife ever went to a midnight release. That's the last. That's one. hilarious. That's the last one I ever. See, went I could, to. I could, I could, I'll never be able to get Julie to go um, one. Even, which was no I did switch. Did which was uh, that was like I did the switch too. That's getting close to almost ten years ago. But anyway, stay home from school. To do so switch. we're talking about rental stores, right. and yeah. I think that my inspiration for this came from that last blockbuster yeah. thing. I watched that because you guys mentioned it. I didn't time. quite realize how much of a cultural phenomenon yeah. rental stores really and the was. rental yeah. culture was. Now, the one thing, let me get this out of the way because I hinted at it on the last episode. The block, the last blockbuster documentary is kind of like a big commercial and kind of like blowing smoke up blockbusters, but specifically, mm-hmm. yeah. And it was more about the more movies, about the movies right? and then it was the video game. So we're going to talk about rental stores from a video game perspective. Sure. And we're going to talk about more than just yeah. Blockbuster. We're going to talk about rental Locals. stores. So we'll talk about the local places that you may have experienced up here. I'll talk about the local stores back in Homa and then any, any experience that you may have had in like Beerus, Homa, Calhoun, or here. Yeah, and we're going to talk about uh, the Purple Mark a little bit more yeah. because we talked about the Purple Mark before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me – can I go first real quick? Yeah, yeah. sure. Because this is going to be – I'm going to throw you for a loop. Okay. Early on. I got a good story for you, too. When I was in Buras, Louisiana, that's when I was from ages one to five. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, keep in mind, I did go back down to visit my family periodically, and then we would go to the rental store. You know what the rental store was down there? I, I know. I know what it is. It was Radio Shack. Radio Shack. You told us before. Yeah. yeah. So, because you brought this up, and I was like, Radio Shack rented games? You're like, yeah. Well, Radio... Uh, that's what I that thought. One. That one did, because everything yeah. down there was local. There was Which no, is another extent. There was no the McDonald's. Store. There was no Walmart. There was n- no corporate business down there. Yeah. I didn't know what a McDonald's was. I didn't know what Walmart was. I knew local grocery stores. I knew local restaurants. Uh, and I knew local rental stores, which this one was a Radio Shack. Yeah. Now, you could tell that this was locally owned and operated because when you would walk into, like, you'd walk into the front part. Mm-hmm. And it would kind of have that, like, you know how Blockbusters were, were laid out where they had the counter that kind of circled right. the front mm-hmm. of the building and you had right. to walk through like the two. Like the overseer of Blockbusters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had to walk through the two security gates. Yeah. It was kind of yes. like that, but there was, it was one way in, one way out. It didn't have a loop. Uh, and when you walked in the Radio Shack, it was your typical Radio Shack type structure mm-hmm. where it had, like, just rows of of just cables and FM radios yeah. and Walkmans yeah, and cordless phones and, and stuff like that that you would phones. find in the the mid to late 90s slash yeah. early 2000s yeah. um, but then when you would Big walk man. through this area I remember there would be like just kind of racks of video games and if you looked up there was like they it's like someone cut out plywood of the silhouettes of video game characters and very accurately if I remember correctly yeah. now this is very vague I remember this is a long time yeah ago, this is like painted hand yeah. painted the video Video game characters, and you could see them up on the rafters, and they would like they'd be up there. And so there was like Mario and Luigi and Toad and all them. And I remember it just being like a wonderland. It was very small, like compared to a blockbuster, it was very small. But I remember clearly renting 
Super uh, Mario Kart yeah. and Honey, I Shrunk the Kids in the same visit. Yeah. And the reason I know that is because my Mario Kart wasn't working and we had to take it back. Oh, no. <laughs> Which, you know, I lived in a small town. It was a, a two-minute drive. That's, so. that's weird for a cart not to work. Was it a cart? Yeah, no. It was a cart. Yeah, yeah. Mario Kart cart. There's got to be something serious and wrong with the cart. It was probably just dirty. Kid. <laughs> yeah, it was probably just dirty. Some kid got his gummy worm stuck in it. Probably. <laughs> in a non-provocative way. <laughs> Uh, but no, that, that's my first experience with rental stores. Yeah. And, I mean, th- we're talking VHS tapes. We're talking mm-hmm. about uh, Super Nintendo cartridges, which that's back then, mine. back then you called them game tapes. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, oh, let me what, what you got on the game tapes? Like, like, like <laughs> oh, uh, did you, um, did you blow on that tape to, uh, yeah, to make it work? Uh, so that was my very first experience with rental stores was Radio Shack. So whenever later we're gonna talk about Blockbuster, it blew my mind. Yeah. Blockbuster blew my mind in a big way. Oh yeah. Um, but uh, let's let's kind of fast forward a little bit because um, whenever I moved to Homa, Louisiana, I gotta I was, talk about the one home too. So. That's Blockbuster. If you watch the documentary, you would know Blockbuster. The reason it's as popular as it is is because they were able to work out deals with people. I'm not sure how it works in the video game end of things, but in the movie end of things, they were able to have more stock. They were able to be, um, you know, they worked till midnight, all that yeah. good stuff. Yeah. And then these other places, they just couldn't compete. And their their point of sale software at the time. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. Was a big, big thing. thing. And, so, and back then, I mean, a VHS tape was like. A hundred bucks? Yeah, that's, I, yeah, that was a fact I learned from that that I was like, did not even. Now I know that like, video game cartridges oh were gosh. like Street Fighter Two when it originally came out was like a hundred bucks. Really? Yeah. So renting it was just a good alternative. So yeah. I mean, even whenever the prices got normalized, we still just rented games because we, like we discussed in the last episode, when we were growing up, I'm sure it was the same way for you, Jacob. Mm-hmm. We didn't get video games. Just because we wanted them, we either yeah. had to wait till our birthday or we had to yes, wait until Christmas. It was, I was going to mention that special that event, special occasions, explore, uh, yeah. experience, yeah. Or, or like a really uh, one occasional sleepover or something like that. All right, y'all are coming over. Y'all want to go go get rent something? Well, yeah. What kind of stupid question is that, mom? Yeah. yeah. Now the blockbuster culture. Now uh, that kind of changed um, the way that we consumed media. Uh, at least my family. Yeah. Now I remember. You now we talked about Paper Mario yeah. and how we rented it and we put the purple mark on the slip cover. And that's how we knew we had the same cartridge. If you didn't know that, you should go back and Watch. listen to oh, listen, yeah. listen to episode one of Gamer Tales. Um, but I remember it, it got to the point where every Friday my mom would come pick me up from school she, and she'd come rolling up in the 2003 Chrysler Town and Country <laughs> and she'd be like, "Get in." <laughs> For going to Blockbuster, <laughs> just, Janelle would say that. I heard her say that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to censor it. Don't worry. But <laughs> it's the Bible Belt. She said the B. She said the B word. I'm just kidding. It. it was more like my mom was like, my mom can't pick me up. I was like, Mom, go, 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 go. We got to get to Blockbuster. Come on. Because like, come on, we have to go now. A new game would come out, and it's like if someone else got there first, and now they didn't care about their movie. They didn't have. They didn't. They had way more movie stock than they had game stock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or so whenever you walk in and you want to go get that new copy of Wind Waker just came out, chances are it was going to be it was gonna be rented out. But there's a workaround behind that. See, I don't know if every blockbuster did this, but, like, I don't know if this if I just got lucky with this really cool guy that was working at, at, at Blockbuster, but we would call before we go and be like, hey, do y'all have this in stock? And he'd be like, let me check. And he'd pull up, pull up their little software thing, yeah. you know, that they hard-coded just for Blockbuster. Um, and he's like, oh yeah, we got like one or two still in stock. And I, I tell this dude, I'll be like, hey, can you grab it? You know, we're heading over there. We'll be there in like five minutes. This G would go back there and grab it. And be like, yeah. I got you. Man. I yeah. think I know the guy you're talking about. Because there was one guy that worked at that same blockbuster for a really long time. I think he probably worked there until it closed. Uh, yeah. Like that guy, that guy probably watched me grow up. That, that dude probably was just like, I'm so proud of you, son. I've watched you grow up. <laughs> I've watched you grow up. But I know I mean, your just, tastes. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, like in games and yeah, movies, yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah so like. It, I watched you go what, from what eating. What are you doing later? Yeah. <laughs> But it, like, it got to the point where, like, my mom, every Friday, she would scoop us up, and then sometimes we'd have to share a rental, right? So it Yes. Just, it just depends. So, like, me and my brother Brent, we would go, and then we would have to share one. Me and my brother Chris. Yeah, so, like, it was like, we had to agree. We had to go look. We had to go walk the aisles. And, look, let me rewind a little bit. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, be kind. I'm, rewind. I'm, yeah, I'm, let's be kind and rewind. Good, <laughs> good pun. Yeah, you um, So Even though that doesn't apply to us right uh, now. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, um, so I was always a little behind on... I was always a generation behind on technology, right? Yeah. So whenever yeah. people were listening to CDs, I was still listening to cassettes. And whenever people were listening to MP3 players, I had CDs. And that that has gone up to the point where we literally just put a TV in my room. That is yeah. uh, a fourteen year old a fourteen year old upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just something that's burned into my 
my personality. I guess. You're very you're very content with what you got. You don't you're not you're not the type of person that seeks out to go upgrade. I'm used yeah. I'm used to just working on what I get. I know that poor computer is like. <laughs> yeah, it's recording right now. <laughs> Y'all hurry up. Just put me down. Just put um, me down. So yeah, um, look, I was gonna say let me rewind a little bit yeah. to. Um, I'm gonna kind of rip off the blockbuster documentary a little bit. Do you guys remember walking in a blockbuster? Do you remember the smell? No, oh, God, yeah. What did it smell like to you? Plastic. And popcorn, popcorn and plastic. I think it smelled like you know when a vacuum cleaner's been running for too long and you yep. smell the vacuum. Itself? Yes. Yep. Okay. I think. Yep. I think okay. Yeah. I can get that. I think, I think it. it smells like a combination of that smell, uh, like like carpet vacuum smell, yep. yeah. plastic, and I don't. I never got the popcorn smell. I never got the popcorns. They, 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 I, think, I think it was just plastic, not burnt plastic, just yeah. plastic, because it, it was all those cases. It's plastic for sure. There's just cases sitting in there, and then the, the clean, like, carpet vacuum yeah. Yeah. smell. Now, <laughs> they used to sell popcorn in, in Blockbusters, and that's what, like, like they would pop it in the stores. Oh, see. And that's why I think, or at, at least that's what I'm remembering. By the time remember. by the time I got there, I don't yeah. think they did. I don't think they this was early, early on. Yeah, I don't think they popped it. Uh, I think they stopped. The only now, reason they sold burned... popcorn there. Yeah. They had like the big bucket with the, the bag Maybe at the I'm bottom. Yeah. Don't quote me on that. They were like, make it a movie night. Yeah. yeah. Or make it a theater in your own house or whatever. <laughs> make it a blockbuster. Uh, make it a blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> Jake but, throwing off his shirt. So like, oh, yeah, my, my brother and I, but sometimes we had to go walk the aisles. Yeah. And with that plastic smell in the air and the mm-hmm. vacuum exhaust mm-hmm. smell in the air, and we would like look at the because there was no internet to use, so we would just go look at the, all the game covers. And yeah. We'd flip them over and read yeah, about the that. games because mm-hmm. they would have more in the rental store than they would. I mean, not like we were looking for video games at Walmart anyway, but they had everything behind the glass case. You could, you could, yeah, you yeah, could, you could actually, actually pick up, touch and the media, look and touch the media at yeah. Blockbuster, whereas sure. at Walmart, you know, it's all it was all under lock and key, so you couldn't you couldn't check it out. So you wouldn't know if a game was multiplayer because at the bottom where it had the ESRB and all that, yeah. Say like this is a two-player game or maximum four-player game. So like whenever you God, want to, that 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 in itself is a weird thing to say in even know, today's right? cultures. Like, is it a live game? Is it a multiplayer game? Is it a battle pass? It's like no, this is this is a two-player game. Online. <laughs> you play online? Well, yeah. Oh, it's a only player two game. players. It's only one player. Only two players. Well, so now now what you can do is you just go on the PlayStation Store, or the Xbox Store, or whatever, and then you I just bring up about that. You just glad you brought yeah. that up. You pull up the description and it'll just tell you all the information right there. But mm-hmm. there was something more. Uh, I I some I understand that it's an obsolete way of life, but there is something about that cultural getting in the car, going to the store, picking up the game, and looking and browsing. It was it was like a mini birthday Christmas. Yeah, birthday For, Christmas. It was like a because like yeah, you were vacation. getting something. You were getting a little mini prize. Yeah. It, it was tastes, an adventure. Yeah. Oh, honestly, and it was, then it was an adventure. Every, yeah. For me, it was every Friday because my mom, my mom, my mom, she my would mom. go get a uh, she would go get a um, a movie for my mom and dad to watch, and sometimes it would be a movie that we could watch. Sometimes it wouldn't be. Um, and then we would get our game so we can go play our game. And it would start <laughs> It would start on the weekend. You know, we would come home on a Friday and we got the weekend to play and then we'd play a couple hours each day after yeah. school. Um, and so, like, sometimes you would rent a game. We talked about this with Paper Mario. And that's why the Purple Mark was invented because we couldn't... Yeah, we got it for five days. We couldn't yeah. finish. You can't See? finish... Uh, as, as a kid... Yeah, you know. You couldn't finish Final Fantasy VIII in one in one rental, probably, unless you really knew what you're doing. You, you didn't have to dedicate to serious time. Well, that it's like you would have to you'd have to uh, sandbag it all on the weekends, yeah. and then you have to play a couple. Because whenever the weekday came by, it was like ah. But you know, what was the worst feeling was when you got a bad rental when you rented a game, yeah. and you get home and you play it, and you already know you're like. I gotta wait a whole other week for I this. I wasted yeah. my pick on this. <laughs> Does anyone remember any bad rentals that they got? Ooh, that's the thing though. I, I don't. I would. It, there's. I, there's a, there's I a, have a, an answer for my worst rental I, I ever wait, got. I can't wait. Oh to hear well, that. I have one, but it's actually more. It's not gonna be a, that, that that generation. It's actually gonna be a newer generation. I don't. Mine's I, a little later. I don't have a bad rental story. I just have a backfire. Like like. I just I, my bad rental story is basically anytime my brother got to pick because you know <laughs> I, was, I was on the same not every time but like yeah. my brother I'll give my brother credit my brother helped discover Gauntlet I'll give him credit for yeah. that because I think my brother was the first one to rent Gauntlet look at, look at the draw yeah that was luck of the draw but man when my brother first started renting there was this freaking Monster Truck Madness game for the Nintendo 64 that he would get every time single yeah. time every time and you see like I'm the kind of guy who's it, like was it a good game Okay, it was probably good the first time. The next few times, I was like, "All right, why, 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 why you gotta do this to me, Chris?" And so, like, um, Nintendo sixty four. And so, um, and my 
brother was just obsessed with it. You know who else was obsessed with it too? Who was obsessed with it? My dad. <laughs> my dad. So he, loved he, it. He I think my it. dad kind of influenced Did my Did he play his Duke, blue Donkey Kong in the truck? You know, he played <laughs> Bigfoot in the big blue truck. <laughs> oh, okay. It's yeah, a, the big blue it's truck. It's a recurring theme here. But, but, um, but the thing, like, oh my god, my brother loved that freaking game so Pull much. Pull up a video of it. And you see, like, and you see, um, I was the type of brother, like, like I was Is a, that the game? Yeah, that's it. That's great. Is that Grave Digger? It looks like it. No, that's not Grave Digger. That's that's, it's it's got, it, got, it looks pretty boring. What is there to do? You're just kind of driving. There were some. There were some where you would race, and there were some where you would jump the cars. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, there's big yeah. foot. It's and, just uh, that that draw distance is bad. Yeah. yeah. The it's just. The 64... It's like Mario Kart with Monster Truck. 64 has really got, so, got some really big jewels in 64, but there's other games that was like, oh, 60, this console. Yeah, 64 <laughs> did not age very well. Well, you see, well. I, you know, I tried to use my influence on my brother. I'd be like, oh, you don't want that game. You want this game. The game that I wanted, you know? I like, think you remember telling that story. Like, <laughs> like that's yeah. what I, And it worked for a little bit, but then, man, when my brother found that Monster Truck, uh, he, he, he got that Monster Truck Madness game, that was it. That straight was to it. it. And he never, got it. Every other week, we were getting Monster Truck Madness. Yeah. Like, like it would be my brother get a week, and then I get a week, and then my brother get a week, and then I get a week, and then eventually, my parents started making more money. And they're just like, all right, y'all can both get a game. Yeah. Oh man, that's a good feeling. It would it would either have to be just those obscure late in the SNES era titles that just you've never heard of until you pick it up and go, what is this game about? Kind of thing. And it was just oh, it was a Karate Kid game. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Exactly. This game sucks. Exactly. But it's honestly. The, in in uh, oh, in, uh, in recent sucks. memory, it would be. I want to talk about this for a second. Redbox, when they were still the kiosks, still did this. They rented games. They still do. They still do. They still do to this day. Zombie, uh, not Zombie Island. Uh, zombie U? Not Zombie U. Uh, Dead, Dead Island. Island. Uh, I got yeah. Dead Island because uh, I knew. I was like, uh, it's first uh, person, uh, it's melee combat, uh, it's zombies. <laughs> and I got home and I was like, that's a bad game. Because I was thinking about buying it, so I was like, oh, we didn't have Redbox. so much fun. There's an alternate universe Ooh. where uh, Dead Island is good and um, oh, uh, Dying, Dying Light, Light is, is bad. bad. <laughs> Dying Light is just the best, like, it's just better in every way possible. Every uh, single way. God, the stamina meter in that game is atrocious. Uh, here's one of my worst rentals. What was not atrocious in that game? Sorry. Uh, here's one of my worst rentals. And now, going back, if I, if I went back and played it as an adult, I probably would enjoy it, but mm-hmm. it was... See, you looking at GameCube. It was, yeah. It was just such a uh, strange... Detective Jacob over here. <laughs> it was just a strange... Uh, I don't own it. Uh, oh, man. I was like, <laughs> it was a strange gameplay I didn't understand, and I just I didn't have the patience to sit and understand the game, which as an adult I probably would, and I yeah. probably would enjoy it. Uh, Billy Hatcher. Billy Hatcher. For the GameCube. Do you guys know what that is? I I've, n- I've heard of it. I've never it's played where, it. It's yeah. a Sega game. He's in uh, the Sega Kart Racer, if you ever played it. And basically, like, he has this big rooster suit on. Or oh, uh, yeah. this chicken suit. And he, like, rolls around on these eggs. And you gotta yes. hatch them. And you gotta, like... It kind of goes in, like, this monkey ball kind of, like, gameplay where he, he's on top of the egg. And he's, like, running and rolling it and all that. And I just remember playing it and not oh, enjoying it. I remember this game. I, re- I remember not enjoying it. I remember it. this game. And but it's one of those games where it's like I need to go back and play it again as an adult because maybe I'll be like man I was just an idiot. And got a four point three out of five on GameStop and eBay. Yeah, so maybe I'm maybe I just didn't give it the pa- the patience it needed. Uh, but that's also whenever like I was you know a game had to hook me at that age because that right. was like that was your preteen years. That's when you were too cool for some of the stuff. Yeah, See, that was I guess I'm so. gonna talk about that. There's a little stage about um, that. But I do remember some of my favorite rentals. Of all yeah, time. I remember renting Super Mario RPG. At Blockbuster, and I would it was kind of like how your brother did. I would rent that game over and over and over because is that from the Radio Shack or Blockbuster? Maybe a little bit of both. Um, because I remember playing that game and like, of course, I couldn't finish it in one in one yeah. rental. But also, I just I was obsessed with it. I liked I, it was fun. Did I liked, you ever get it? Did you ever buy it? Oh yeah, I that game. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. I, like, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. I, couldn't remember I got it for like it. Christmas or something. Okay. My, my parents bought it for me. Yeah. And I just remember loving that game. Like I like how the characters look. I like the the art direction. I like the gameplay. I, that's like one of those like ten out of ten games. I still play that game like often, mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. And I remember renting it over and over and over again. And I remember seeing that same, and no one would rent it because the kids down here. Now we live in the South. People don't. People didn't like RPGs. Now back then, back in the they didn't have taste. People people didn't like RPG, RPGs back in the day anyway until Final Fantasy VII came along and revolutionized the genre at least in in America. Yeah. Uh, but 
no one cared about Mario RPG because it just didn't. And also, it was very late in the Super Nintendo's yeah. life cycle as well. But there was always copies. I could always get it. And I remember renting it over and over again. Um, but I do remember some great rentals that my brother and I got. Uh, Hunter the Reckoning Wayward. Mm. Remember that game? Yeah. Uh, we played that. I thought that was a great rental. You remember um, Conflict Conflict Desert Storm? I don't Conflict that Desert game. Storm. That was a good one. That was a really good one. I like that one. Uh, we enjoyed that game. Uh, we enjoyed Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Gauntlet Dark Legacy. We enjoyed. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of PS2 games that we rented. Now that was what was important about. See, I didn't really. So yeah. well, we all, we all kind of know the story about whenever my brothers my brothers and I we pitched in for a PS2 yeah. and then we had just enough money to get the console but we didn't have enough money to buy a game mm-hmm. so my mom was very gracious and brought us to Blockbuster and we all got to rent a game I remember specifically renting Jack and Daxter mm-hmm. I don't know what Brent rented but Brad rented like a Gran Turismo game, of there course is, yeah. uh, and I remember Roar. playing Typical. I remember playing that game and just being fascinated mm-hmm. by it. Um, now Brent, Brent, uh, Brent put the most money in, didn't he? And that's why it was in his room. Yep, it yeah. was in his room. Sure was. And um, I, that. I think the best rental for me was was there was there, there's some that. there's some SNES classics that were good. I remember specifically. I don't want to go too much into it, but we would all my friend and I before we actually purchased our own or I purchased my own console and got um, uh, Mario Paint for the SNES. Yeah. Oh. Did it come with the mouse? It did. It did. Oh, oh nice. wow. yeah, yeah. Uh, but but that goes. I guess I can segue. Can I segue into me mm-hmm. a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, feel, feel so free to we jump had in, in Watson. We I had, had um, Mo- Movie Land Video was the name of our movie. Movie Land. Um, Blockbuster didn't come to Denim until a little later, and I think it was. It actually came maybe towards the tail end of the life cycle of like the. the I remember Movie Land fading away a little bit, and then that's when Blockbuster popped up. And it could have been in that phase where Blockbuster popped up and it was yeah. in Denim, but all the little local stores around the area. Where could, was Movie Land? Movie Land is. Right Right near um, the Live Oak Methodist Church mm-hmm. uh, in Watson, you, you can get. Yeah. It's, there's a no, plaza. It's one of those plazas on the strip. Well, okay. Uh, was it? What was it next door to Oak Point? There was something next door to Oak Point. No, no. That plot. That plaza came way later. Okay. It's in an older plaza. I gotcha. um, but uh, it's it's in, it's in the Pizza Place pl- uh, Plaza near um, near Linda's Chicken. That's what Haley but, was telling me. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's perfect spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Moving right get, across from Chicken Place. And, was, and wait, pizza was, place. was Pizza Place open? Pizza Place was around, dude. Pizza Place has been there for pizza. Yeah. Get your pizza. Get your so movie. good too. But um, yeah. So Movie Land did what most most local places did, and they did. They didn't have all the copies of the games behind mm-hmm. it. They just had the box art. Yeah. Or the box itself. So the box yeah. on the shelf, and then and then just like any any local place, there's a small section. Uh, I don't remember NES. I don't. I don't even think we rented NES titles. And that this is kind of a sidebar, but I think that was the one thing I missed about all those carts was around that time, like Kmart's and Walmart's were doing the blue lights, <laughs> and they had that basket <laughs> bin. I, said, you go, <laughs> I talked about blue light special oh, on the did, last episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was where, because in, towards the, the end of the life cycle, the NES, NES games were so cheap. Oh, yeah. I don't. I, remember I, I never paid for my parents did, but I remember mom going, yeah, get like three or four of them, because these are like this much money. We bought a bunch of them, and then my NES died. <laughs> <laughs> like, did you have like the, the, the push-in loader? Yeah, the yeah. 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 No, what happened was with the NES, um, the... Um, the, 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 what is it called? The, the, the only way you could connect it to the TV. Yeah, the axle, the, the coaxial yeah, cable. The coaxial cable. AV, the AV little tooth, the, the, the little tooth broke off in there. So, <laughs> oh, and we went to plug it tooth. in and it wasn't coming on. And, oh, uh, it wasn't coming on. The TV, you know, it would turn on, but. But it, the, yeah, no, you could get a signal. To find out all we needed to do was get a new mm-hmm. R, 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 cable. But, RF, you, yeah, RF, RF connector, yeah. yeah. Um, but Movie Land was really cool. So the, the thing about that, though, to, I don't think I. Either I stopped using rentals at Movie Land, or, or when they started moving into the, uh, they might have moved into 64 territory mm-hmm. at the end of its life cycle, mm-hmm. and that's kind of where Blockbuster took over with like in moving into GameCube, yeah. and PlayStation 2, and stuff yeah. like that. And that's kind of where I got off of renting. But anyways, I had a, a best friend uh, named Jason Borden, and. Jason uh, Borden. Jason Bourne, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ, Jesus Christ, Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne, <laughs> and um, I don't know. I, and I'm trying to go back in my head because I, I, you guys, obviously, I'm old. Right? I'm, 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 I'm you're okay, old. You a it. generation <laughs> than older than y'all. I'm ten years almost older. You're than old. Years. So <laughs> you're, you're I, old. I remembered. Uh, I don't. So I can't really remember how I met Jason. Anyways, we connected, and we would always Jason. Jason's family had, well, we'll say a little more 
little more better off than my family was. They weren't. We weren't. Oh, they had more money. They were rich. So they had a nice house, and and he had usually. I'm going over to Jason's house. Here later. He, he, He's got so, a go kart. So most of the time we slept over at his house, but it was yeah. almost. It was like every other weekend we would sleep over the weekend, and it was movie land and then two video games. So it was both of us. Yeah. It was usually two SNES. Wait, games. his parents were rent for you. Yeah, we rent one for me, and one Whoa. for him. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Mrs. Borden. But see, here's the thing. Okay. Though. It wasn't like. Did they own the Borden milk? <laughs> the no. Borden milk. No. Milkery? I was going to say the milkery. The milkery. The, the, the dairy farm? Yeah, the milk I also, dairy. I, you know, it's funny. I also have another friend who I connected with the gym whose name is Jason Kleinpeter. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you like these the are, milky These people. are all local milks, by the way. Um, <laughs> are, 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 are milky you, people. Are, <laughs> are you related to Jason Voorhees as well? <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, so um, I remember renting specifically the, the, the first time that we had our rent was we rented Super Contra. Oh, and I remember ooh. seeing that oh. Mode 7 graphics, bro, that plane flies in. You're like, what is this future we're playing? And then you we to, suck at this game, but oh my gosh, is this it, amazing. Then you get the first top-down level, and you're like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> but see, going back to Contra, that was what was really cool yeah. about looking. You look at the box, you flip it over, you go, oh, Jason, this is a two-player game. We can play this game together, yeah. right? So, you know, and then I remember we love Mario Paint so much that Jason went and bought a strategy guide. And the majority of the guide was just how to make stamps of Mario characters that were not wow. in the Mario. I was about to say, they would so, have a strategy. Yeah, they're like, That's oh, cool. hey, That's you can cool, make yeah. Link where he's doing this motion. And so we'd make our own custom stamps with that. So make that your was, stop motion video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, and like... I was too young to truly experience it. But Movie Land, oh, Movie we, Land yeah, was... Um, Movie Land was very... You only did it for a day. I don't think... I, I think you might have gotten two, but you didn't get yeah, a whole so that, five. That's where Blockbuster so kind was, of started shutting them down yeah. because... Um, not longer. only did video games prices start to stabilize and get a little lower, but um, Blockbuster was just monopolizing it. I mean, they had up, like almost nine thousand yeah. stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prime. Um, and they, yeah, yeah. That, that documentary opened my eyes up to a oh, lot yeah. of stuff. Um, I think but, they targeted a lot of places too. With uh, yeah. like, like if they saw that there were rental stores there, that's where they're like, okay, we can go. Yeah, the one here. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, tow- the towards the end of the, that that rental, moving on to like my preteens, um, I remember the my most favorite moment was we rented my my friend had a PlayStation and a uh, sixty four. And um, which is where I moved from because he had the PlayStation. I was going to a 64, and then when I saw the, the PlayStation games and what you could do, that's, oh, why, yeah, I from, to that's why I switched from SNES to yeah. PlayStation. That, that's one of the generational divides that was really, really hard to pick. Yes, because the, the next one, the next one, like Xbox, GameCube, and, in between yeah. Xbox, GameCube, and PS2, you're probably going to pick a PS2, PS2, right? But like, if you have to choose one now. Yeah. That, in between PS1 and 64, that was a tough choice. That's a very tough choice. Even to this day, yeah. yeah. That's still a tough choice. Yeah. I mean... Because Nintendo... Nintendo... The Nintendo 64 is like that... The loyal... The loyal girl, you know? She's, yeah, yeah. She's, she's pretty... And she, but she's loyal, and that's yeah. the most important thing. You know, she's been there through thick and thin. You've had some really good memories with her. But the PlayStation is that hot Super Mario. Yeah, 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 that's right. Hey, yeah. and up, up to your up to four that PlayStation. Your, up to four, your friends can use her at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Multi. Where's yeah, only you two? Had to, you had to pay extra. Uh, to, yeah, to, you had to pay extra to, for all your friends. For all to your use friends. To the, uh, uh, so, but but but, uh, and I use that I use that comparison though because it's like obviously the PlayStation is the is the more. Uh, intense system, Tech, yeah. but that doesn't mean that you're just going to have more fun yeah. with it. No, or, yeah. But you might have more fun the with bad, The bad too. part was that if there was anything that was multi-platform, it was better on PS4. Yeah. And so that was the that was kind of the reason Tony Jason... Hawk, you know, Jason, uh, His name was Tony. Um, no, no pun intended. But um, he, uh, we rented... I love, obviously, my favorite game of all time is, is Star Fox for SNES. Mm-hmm. So we rented um, we rented Star Fox 60, uh, 64 and we played played it, beat it the whole night. Stayed it all night. And then we had, it was one of those things where a bunch of people were over, so it was like, there was like six of us guys, and had him plug in all the, I don't know where he got the controllers. I remember, unless someone, was he, some was he friends, your blue wizard? Maybe, or some friends brought them, but everybody had a controller, so we could do that four player split screen. Man, playing four player split screen Star Fox into the night was phenomenal. That was one of my favorite, favorite moments, I think, of all time. And that's, that's another, another gamer tale, is talking about yeah. split screen. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got a couple stories. By the way, I forgive. Uh, oh, yeah. a, a solicitor is ringing my doorbell it's right now. It's great. It's great. <laughs> <Yeah. It's real laughs> great. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man. So, anyways, um, uh, hold on. Let's let's take a break for a minute, okay. real quick. Yeah. Give me one second. You're good. Think of all the mature, responsible things you could be doing: Maybe. helping old ladies cross the street, proudly maintaining your yard. Hanging with your folks or cleaning your room. But get real. You'd rather be playing video games. 
you can rent them from Blockbuster. They've got more of the coolest new Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis games for rent than anyone in the world. So dudes, why not get your games from Blockbuster? It's the mature thing to do. Yeah. All right, sorry. Uh, we had a solicitor ring my doorbell. <laughs> That's great, yeah, real great. It's Grubhub. Uh, so, anyways, um, but where, that, where were we? We were talking about. That's what I was saying yeah. was about the uh, the split screen stuff, which is a whole other gamer tale we could probably get into. Is, is the, the is good the, thing about gamer tales is that you can go off on Halo. Yeah, well, I just missing missing out on that um, the split screen nostalgia, of the, the Halo multi taps and all the. But anyways, but that was my favorite rental moment, and and it was one of those things that was made made rentaling. Rentling, renting really cool is because you know if your buddy had this console and you had this console, you just go over, you meet up at the same house, you bring both consoles over. And that's what we did all night. We played PlayStation One games, we played some Tekken, some Takan, Takan, Takin, Takin, and uh, Turok, Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. That's a good one. That was oh, yeah. a good. The, the Cerebral Board. Yeah. yeah, that was so cool. Um, but, um, yeah, so what, what also was cool is like if Blockbuster didn't have the uh, the games that we wanted, or if my mom was not finding a movie she wanted, she, you could go to a different rental store and their stock would be different. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it's kind of like how Netflix will have some things and Hulu will have some things, right. but you had to drive to different places to go find them. Yes. So we would go to other places, and one of the other big ones that was around mm-hmm. was Hollywood Video. Did you guys ever go to a Hollywood Video? Never, we had one here. Never, um, it was in the, the, it the had the town. same. It had the same. The same like it's like Pepsi. Pepsi the same Coke. It was the same. Yeah. No, but it was a little different. Yeah. It was like yeah. it's like maybe they were using a, an Auric vacuum instead of a, <laughs> instead Hoover. Of a Hoover. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it was. But um, yeah, so sometimes you'd go there and you'd find different games. Yeah. You'd see like different box arts. And you'd be like, oh wow, I never saw this game in Blockbuster. And you'd be yeah. able to kind of differentiate. Now you had to have two different memberships. Uh, that's what sucked about it. Yeah, you had to have memberships, and that, that's how you got to rent the the stuff. You couldn't just walk into a Blockbuster and rent without having membership, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Like you had to have your membership card. You still have your membership card? I never had one. I always relied on friends. Yeah, somebody still has a, a one around here. That someone I, I, I bet I could ask my mom. I bet my mom. Yeah, someone. I think maybe my mom has hers still. My mommy. My yeah. mommy. Movie Land didn't require you one. Well, a lot of local places did. It was just oh, yeah. go in. But we had some. Needed. We had some local places like remember Diamond. Diamond Video. video that's what I was gonna talk. I, I, gonna I used to love Diamond how it was always video. something video yeah. or Video Land, yeah. Diamond Video. Yeah. yeah, we have video in it. Uh, the, the cool thing about Diamond Video is that Diamond Video was a generation behind with their games. Like okay. every time. Like, yeah. Um, when the 64 came out, they had more of the SNES, um, Sega Genesis games. In fact, the first game that I remember renting, uh, actually, there was a time before that. Um, first game I ever rented was The Lion King for SNES, but that was when Dixie. <laughs> when Dixie? When Dixie That's had, weird. Uh, when Dixie had rentals that hey, day, it was, was not stuff. very long at all. <laughs> Because we went, because we started going to Diamond Video, because you didn't have to have a membership, you just go in, but it was only one day. Yeah. And so, um, the first game I remember getting from Diamond Video was uh, Jurassic Park uh, for the Genesis, like uh, Is that the one you can number two in? or something. Yeah, no, it wasn't that one. Wait, which one? It was like, like it was, it was the, the sequel. I can't remember exactly what they called, what it was called. It was like Jurassic Park. Maybe I'm thinking of this SNES. There was one where you had to play the dinosaur. That's what I'm saying. I, thought, yeah, I, thought that, I think I think I'm thinking of a different. That was a good one. I think it's for SNES. Like, why would you Why would you not play the dinosaur? Right. Yeah. Why'd you want to play as Grant? The, the, I, I don't remember that game. I do being remember that one. Yeah. I did. I did rent that one. That one was that. Uh, that one was pretty. I fun. remember a Jurassic Park game that you could play where like it was two player and you could drive around in a car and shoot out of it. It was like a. Top I think down. that's. I think that's the one. No, the top down one was Jurassic Park for SNES. There's a no, sequel. No, 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 no. There's a different one. This is like a one where it's top. It's like top down when you drove the car. It was two player. I don't know. I, made, I don't know. There was one that was a side scroller, and that's the one I'm thinking about. That's the first game I've probably rented. But that see, that, that, that's that, that's the cool magic about rental stores was yeah. that. All these games, you don't know these. Yeah. Brandon don't know these. Yeah. But we got to experience that because of rental stores. There's no, exactly. there's no. I mean, there's now and there's okay. There's now in Game Pass. So like, yeah. there's, there's a kind of a thing now, but like that 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 bygone era of being able to, to do that to be able to experience media that you would probably never because like like Brandon's collection. How long did that take to amass that? And if you would have, you know. That's a long, and yeah. a lot of that's back bought from I'm, when I'm, you. I'm, uh, uh, I'm embarrassed about how big my 360 collection is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good concept. Because that's that's the generation that was out whenever I was. Uh, I've got my first job. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I, uh, I was like, well, I wanted a game. But, I, would, yeah. I, would, I would just go into GameStop like. That's twenty bucks. That's twenty bucks. That's twenty bucks. Yeah. Give me all that. <laughs> but a lot of, but a lot of these these things, these stories we're talking about, our parents did it. So yeah, we had to rely on our parents, exactly. and our parents aren't going to buy. You know what is that? 
50 uh, Xbox games yeah, for you, exactly. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's so not what you're going to do in your own. You have to experience yeah. it, and the rental store was the only way to do that. Yeah. And another, another story with uh, Diamond Video, um, I had sent my pop off to go get a game. They were, they, were, they were going they were going to get a game, and so Brandon was, uh, I was like, oh, Brandon, you know, they got a lot of older games over there, you know, PlayStation, like, what should I get? Brandon's like, dude, ask us if they got Final Fantasy VII, because I think yours wasn't yeah, working. Was, was it seven or was it eight? We asked for seven. They came back with nine. Oh, they came back with Final okay. Fantasy Nine, and I don't know if I don't know I don't know if Bob wait a Ball minute saw I'm Final Fantasy Nine and was like oh this Final Fantasy I'm Final remembering Fantasy, Final the Fantasy story 9. a little different unless wait are you is that the end of the story? There might be a little more to it. I remember a story where your papa when he went to go get did he go back? No. I remember I remember your papa going and getting uh, we asked him for a Final Fantasy game. It was, it was fun. I remember we asked him for Final Fantasy. This is a separate story because he came back and he tricked us and he said he said oh you wanted eight right and we were like no we wanted seven and he actually got seven and he he tricked you. He, 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 I don't think they had seven did they? No, there was one time he did that. Okay. Or maybe we wanted eight, and he said he got nine, but he uh, got eight. okay. Because there was a separate... That sounded like something my pop up would do. Though. Yeah, he did. I remember, like because you were so disappointed, and you're like, no, I wanted this one. And he, <laughs> he got the right one. Yeah. He got the right one. Okay. He just fooled you. Yeah. It was funny. I laughed. Yeah, he did do that before. But That's all right. Well, the only problem is, though, is that Diamond Video is one day. <laughs> And, and yeah, there's, that's there's how, no, that's how no way on earth you could play. Oh God, Batman. no! I bet hey, not. Do you remember? All right, I'm gonna. I have a hit list of live. Yeah, I'm watching. Notes. Yeah. I made some live notes. Do you remember uh, Blockbuster so exclusives? Yep. Do you remember games that were exclusive? Yep. Play Fighter '63. Yep. '63 and, uh, 63 63 and, one, and third. one third. That was oh, a block, that was a Blockbuster exclusive. Right. Now, uh, I, I'll try to Google a. You couldn't even uh, buy that one. Could you? You had to get it from. Blockbuster. You had to rent it. You had to rent. Um, it. There was no other way to obtain that game. I'm gonna look up a list of uh, blockbuster exclusive games. I got uh, another good story about blockbuster. Here is a list just from uh, Google search. Uh, it's a blockbuster. Like, oh, yeah, I say, the Stunt now. Racer 64, The Ren and Stimpy Show, Super Nintendo Game, Razor Freestyle Scooter, <laughs> Transformers Beast Wars, <laughs> Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut, International Track and Field, Mr. Nuts, yeah, uh, Final Fight, that Hagani, oh. uh, Clay I Fighter. Eat the cat. Um, that's just some examples of some of yeah. this. But I remember Clay Fighter being the, the big one. That was a fun Because it was on the box. It, yeah. it said it on the box. This is, you, can, you can't you can buy this. It said yeah. Blockbuster exclusive. And it was like, if you have that case, that's a collector's item. Okay? Yeah. Um, do you guys remember, not only could you rent games, but you could rent a system. Yeah, you, I yeah, that. yeah. You could rent them, and they was really I, beg, cool I used to beg my mom. I used to be like, "Mom, please, can we can we rent a PlayStation? I want to rent a PlayStation so bad." I didn't realize how much they were. That must have been what was stopping us, because my mom told me no every time. Yeah, like, how much were they? Yeah, hey, uh, I don't know. You could rent a system, and uh, it would be. It would come in a suitcase. Yeah, I remember, you remember that. I remember See, I never, never got to do and that. And all the wires just were already attached. All you had to do was just leave the suitcase there and just plug hook it, it up, and uh, you can put it back in. Uh, now, I mean. It wasn't as good as running a game because you had to hook the whole thing up yeah. and it was sure. probably expensive yeah. and not a lot of people did it but right. uh, they tried they used yeah. to so bad I used to um, run a PlayStation 2 so PlayStation. I, we talked about Hollywood video uh, can we talk about how the CDs and the cases were always loose and scratched yeah. up oh yeah it was one of those things yeah. we, we hinted at it a little bit on the uh, last episode we were talking about how like cartridges were okay because they were just loose in the box and right. it, it was a cartridge you weren't going to break it unless right. you submerged it under water or tossed <laughs> it in a fire or yeah. something but those CDs would get scratched up <laughs> so there was a, there was a high probability that you might go and yeah. run a game because you wouldn't you wouldn't have the um, you I think you could open up the box and look at the CD and see if it was scratched but if it was yeah. super scratched up and it didn't work it'd take it back and get another CD yeah. and that that happened yeah. a lot I never, yeah, I, never a lot. I never had it happen with games I had it happen with movies but to my rental days for games died off towards the end of the yeah the CD era yeah yeah, well, I never understood why they didn't just put the jewel case. Because some, some rental stores did that. They would take yeah. the jewel case, like the actual plastic case, and then they would put it in like one of those big blockbuster type cases, and then you would have oh, okay. a case in a case. Yeah. Because they knew the CDs would get loose. Sure. Uh, and also, who knows? Who knows what the people are doing with these CDs? Sure. Exactly. I don't know if you guys know how I am. I'm kind of like anal about CD stuff like, yeah. like if one of my so nieces you've always been if one of my nieces or nephews is like hey can I, can I touch this CD I'm like no let me handle that CD yeah I'll do okay. that nowadays like we got Blu-rays they got the little protein code and they're like less or they're digital yeah, yeah or you can just buy games digitally you don't have to worry about that as much anymore or if you have the Switch it's a cartridge again we're yeah. back there that's yeah. strange thank you um, I, I embrace that wholeheartedly yeah, same um, so that that was kind of a bummer yeah. uh, about about renting CD Based media, yeah. I guess maybe D- I guess DVDs weren't as big of a deal. Yeah. But um, 
Steve, you might remember this. Yeah, this I don't. This is. This Do you is, remember, uh, Steve? I'm about to blow your mind. Yeah. You, I don't think you remember this. Do you remember the Pokemon Snap kiosk? Yes. In the Blockbuster. Yep. If you had, so you know the back part of the 64 controller where the Rumble Pack goes sure. in. Sure. You can get memory cards uh-huh. for that. If was it the memory card? I thought you brought the cartridge. I thought you brought. The Did cartridge you bring the cartridge? Let me. Uh, I want to look at that. I thought I it think was the it, cartridge. It was the cartridge. Yeah. Too. I think it was the cartridge. Because you would bring it in, you plug it. So you know what Pokemon Snap yeah. is? You take the pictures, you save them. All yeah. If you brought your cartridge to the kiosk, I'm assuming it's the cartridge, not the memory card. Because Nintendo didn't use memory cards. They only use cards. you got to be right. They, they did use memory cards in the very early stage of the 64. I, I, looked, I looked it up. And it was only it. for a few things. It was only for like... Oh, can, I had continue, up. continue the story. But you put your cartridge in, or you put your media in. Let's say it that way, just so I'm not misquoting. And you could print out... It had a printer built in. Uh, and you could what? print out your pictures of the Pokemon you took on the game. Yep. And, you, and so you'd bring your stuff with you to Blockbuster to, to hook it up. Yeah. It was like a fun way to be like... This is great. I, yeah. I, I want to bring my stuff. I want to yeah. bring more this stuff. This is my picture. Box. Yeah, this is mine. And again, you could bring them to school. Like, hey, look at this picture of this Charizard I took. It's better than the one you took. Right. Prick. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then the put bully, them on your wall. Then the put bully, them on your poster. The bully punches poster. you in the teeth and he takes your lunch money. Jeez. Enough times. And he oh, takes your Pokemon. Pokemon. He takes your Pokemon cartridge. Oh, home he, junior he high. Throws them the ground. And stomps on. Throws up on yeah. The yeah okay. It is the cartridge. Throws up on your car. It is the cartridge. What was that from? It was. Was from an episode. It was an episode you were talking about. Someone threw up on your, yeah. your copy of. Oh, Matrix. you were talking about trading in games. Like, who knows if maybe you went to? Oh, it was a midnight release. Some yeah. dude goes over there and throws up on your cartridge of goof troop or your, your cover of goof troop. Uh, yeah. uh, did you find it, Steve? Did I did. You? It was a cartridge. It was the cartridge. Yeah. So it's yeah, kids who rented it or bought it would bring their cartridge to Blockbuster, put it in the kiosk. Uh, and then they would pull it up. Yeah, that, that's, that's, really that's cool. the kiosk right there. Um, See, this is this was a stuff. One of the things was... I saw is like a Pokemon a Snap kiosk for sale. Sorry, Jacob. Yeah, oh, no, they're, they're expensive. That's yeah, the, this is stuff. I, like I said, I'm being a generation ahead. I was like, I kind of missed out on that stuff because that Jacob was my t- that was that, that was my teenager cool years, for, for, yeah. uh, late teenager years. Uh, so and was, then also you could. Um, uh, as time went on and, and I guess sales got low, you'd walk in and there'd be more like crap for you to buy when you first walked oh, in. Oh, yeah. Dude, pre owned games were like the way to get the sure. way. Because I, I, I kind of talked about it a little bit before, but the floor plan of Blockbuster was um, you would walk in and there'd be like a little airtight chamber yeah. and you walk through that part. And then, <laughs> oh, yeah. And then there was like a gate, there was like a gate, like a detector, and then you walk, metal not like a detector, metal detector, yeah. but a, de- a detector, and then you would walk in and then you could not leave the store out of that same door. You can only leave out of uh, going out of the exit door, door. Yeah, the which also had another uh, another echo, uh, echo chamber, and it had another echo other chamber, uh, and it had. Um, and you could like look at the people coming in. It had uh, an airlock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> felt like you were like getting disinfected before. The, uh, <laughs> but, but you remember, yeah, you, you would have to give your guy the the, the thing you were renting. You had right. to give it to him over the counter, and then you had to walk through the detector, and then he would hand you your stuff on the other side, right. and then you'd walk out. That. My and, brother threw a fit in one of the echo chambers. And do you remember? Uh, and it was always hot in there, man, because there was no AC yeah, and there was glass yeah, and the yeah. sun and that Louisiana heat was just mm-hmm. beaming through that air chamber. The, yeah. the denim blockbuster was sitting on the set and sun. The glass was all just Ooh. facing the set and sun. Yeah, it was the worst. <laughs> smelled a little sweaty yeah. in there. You saw it was like a half chewed up lifesaver gummy there, where some kids spat it out. <laughs> get that out of your mouth. Where'd you find it from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do you guys? There's remember, my brother throwing a fit because he couldn't get the game he wanted. Do you guys remember like, uh, of course, late fees? Were were a thing so mm-hmm. you had to uh make sure you had like my mom was like okay whatever day it was i think it was like you had five days so like i think it was like that wednesday or thursday my mom be like all right before you guys go to bed i want your games in the cases on the kitchen counter so i can grab them on the way out because i'm gonna i'm gonna turn them in so we don't get any late fees yep. and uh so, was on top of that and we always did that so like we had them like almost like how blockbuster had their slot yeah we had our area we put our stuff in and then my mom would go in and put them in the slot and then, yeah movie land had a, had a drop box and yeah. that's where your uh that's how you turned in your movies and games that's what was there was not. Really? Yeah, you have to go bring it. It was the, just in the yeah, door. I think it. you just dropped it. No, no, they didn't have. They didn't have a slot. What they had? Well, those, was, these are diff- those are local counter. places. They yeah. had a counter where you would like slide it in. So kind yeah. of similar. Yeah, these are local places. The local yeah. places all did it different. Yeah. Um, yeah. But Blockbuster had the slot, and it was always fun. I was like, can't go put it in the slot. Yeah, yeah. Can't go put it back, man. Oh Pull. god, that was that was that was a it was it was a sentimental for me because it was just like if you had a really like, good game, goodbye. Yeah. Like, goodbye. Or if it's been a long time. Or if you had Billy Hatcher, and you're like, get. In there, <laughs> <laughs> or if it was the purple mark, you'd whisper to it gently, and say, "I'll be back." 
and you kiss Caress it. it. Mm-hmm. You give it a kiss, put it in. But they did have you, a you way. You accidentally spit out your half chewed lifesaver gummy into the <laughs> cartridge slot. They did, <laughs> they did have an option that you could do to circumvent that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's, let's, just, let's, let's let Jacob have his moment. I just picture that poor employee next one. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid kids. I hate them. Did you guys ever have... Uh, not, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're but did you guys ever have one of those situations where you rent a game and it's the wrong disc in there? No, like, I've never had I one. did. One time. The wrong I did. cartridge I in did. there. And you gotta bring it back? You know what? I mean, I had a situation where we flat out had a... Uh, I'm trying to remember what happened. It was like a, a PlayStation disc for like a GameCube or something, yeah. like something like that. Like I kind of want to say it was a, a it was a Nintendo 64, but there's no way that they could have made that mistake. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Or sometimes you'd have a game that had multiple discs and it wouldn't have the multiple discs yeah, in there. Or you'd have the you'd have like disc two and you wouldn't have disc one. Yeah, I, never really, I think Blockbuster I never really started like to that, move so. away from that. I think Blockbuster if Blockbuster saw that there was multiple discs, I don't think they. No, I take that back because Resident Evil had two discs. For the, yeah, Resident they Evil did. for the GameCube had two discs. They they basically just took the uh, GameCube case and just put their their little their little thing on hey, it. And, and Steve, we talked about it a little bit in the last episode, but whenever Blockbuster uh, specifically, now we, we're going to talk about Blockbuster a lot because just, like, just, just like the documentary said, it took over and that yeah. was the place we went. Yeah. Um, whenever they were getting ready to move a generation up, so whenever uh, the PS2 and the Xbox and the GameCube came out, they started selling all their old hardware and stuff yeah. and they didn't want it anymore. And That's how I got Ocarina of Time. And what kind of sucks is you can look up there at that copy of yeah. Conquer, Conquer's Bad Fur Day and it's got that obnoxious property of Blockbuster sticker on mm-hmm. it. Yeah. That's, it wraps around and it's actually on the label of the game itself so you can't yeah. remove it unless you want to rip that label. label but, off. in that same vein, I was able to acquire the legendary Purple Mark. Yeah. Uh, Purple yeah Mark. And, and if you want to hear more about that story, you should go listen to episode one of Gamer Tales. Really cool. So, it sucks that it's got Blockbuster but because it was such a sentimental part of my history, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. Sorry. See, for me, that, that, was, that goes back to the Kmart and the at that point, I think at that point in the life cycle, if I'm trying to remember my, my aging correctly, <coughs> at least the Kmart in in um, in uh, blah, 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 in denim started to die, mm-hmm. and that's when you went in. You, we were like, "Mom, that's where I got the majority of my just." I don't know what this this game is on the Super Nintendo, but it looks cool. Throw the buggy. I don't know. That was when we Blue Light Special. Blue Light Special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Because Blockbuster was Blockbuster was my teens, and by that time, I think I was starting to. That was my little dip in my gamer sphere, mm-hmm. and that's when I was kind of hanging out with friends. I was late teens, or graduating high school, being a little on. punk. Yeah, and uh, but but we the nostalgia was still there because it was just movies. Yeah, we would just go. But that was that was another thing. You didn't know, side from games, but it was the same thing. It was that gathering around. I was like, hey, what are, what are we doing tonight? Let's go run some movies. Mm-hmm. Like you don't hear that anymore. Like what are we doing? Tonight? Let's go watch. There, Netflix. there was it was a, a culture. It was yeah. a culture thing that I mean. I feel like whenever my son grows up and I'm telling him about how we used to walk to, like we would yeah. drive to a store and rent a game or rent a movie, he's going to be like, that sounds dumb. Yeah. He's like, I, I can just push a button and I can get a Why Coco Melon on that, right Dad? now. Why would I go yeah. all the way to the <laughs> My 14 year old, I can get Coco Melon on right now. Do you know Netflix used to mail your movies? You, 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 <laughs> yeah, they would mail them Gamefly. Yeah, Gamefly. You're a liar. Netflix, <laughs> you're, a liar. you're a liar. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to talk about how. Come block- on, Dad. Stop <laughs> talking about that. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about how Blockbuster tried to compete or anything like that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all the that, that's That's kind of a topic for a different discussion. Mm-hmm. Um. But I do remember the the property of Blockbuster stickers all over yep. everything. Yeah. Yep. They had um, to let you know it's their property because yeah. they don't want nobody stealing well, them. sure. Right. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, no, but they can... eventually stopped doing that with the discs, though. Because we have a copy of Call of Duty World at War that we kept <laughs> when Blockbuster went under. And it doesn't have... It does not Jokes have... on you, no <laughs> late fees. <laughs> <laughs> Which I got rid of the late fees. Now, Steve, you're forgetting a very important part of your Blockbuster. Yeah, uh, this I, 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 I story, know this. This is where the story comes from. So, um, I really want to tell the whole story, because the whole story is just... It's the totality of the circumstances is perfect. Wait, what are you, what are you talking about? The the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you where I first experienced the past. Experience the, past. Hey, the past. The past. The past. The past. So, so... We discovered the past, the past by chance. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna take you back and, and go a little bit more in depth with the story. So um, when I turned, uh, when the when the GameCube first came out, I think I was turning like ten or eleven or something like that. My parents gave me a choice. They said um, you could pick a birthday present 
or you can go to Blue Bayou with your friends. I remember the story. I picked Blue Bayou with my friends because I was like, my boy. What were the two choices again? A, a, a present. Yeah. Which would have been the GameCube. Yeah. Or, or Blue Bayou. Blue Bayou with Ooh, my friends. That's tough. So I, I chose Blue Bayou because, you know, I, I'm, I'm loyal. I wanted to bring my friends to Blue Bayou. It sounded like fun. That so. man has a, a, okay. a golden heart. So so we all get in the... Were you there? Maybe you did. Maybe they didn't let me bring you at first. I got to bring him to Blue Bayou eventually. Blue Bayou is a water park, for those of you who don't know. It's the big, like the biggest water park, amusement park in <laughs> the, like, Louisiana. Like one of the only ones. The only, the only one. You remember right Waterland in, uh, in Homa? With uh, that, that sounds that, so exciting. Uh, that's, it had like one slide. Three slides. It had one slide, but it was like, it was not even, it was like, it was like it angled. Was a, a sleep it was, decline. A, it, was, a steep. it was angled like five degrees and like it was the longest. It went all the way around. So you were on the slide going like point. Two miles an hour <laughs> on your back. They, they and literally had dry. It, it was three slides. Okay, it was been sitting out in the sun. Big long one that's just a drop. A drop. The and plunge. then they had the, the the one that Brandon's describing, and then a kitty slide. Yeah. But anyway, that was it. Just anyway, three slides. So so I think at first I didn't get to bring my friends, and so we we made the trip all the way to Baton Rouge, and then we get there, and there there's people up in the front. We roll down the windows like, hey guys, there's lightning in the area. We're not opening today. Yeah. And they gave us free passes, yeah. and so my parents are like, all right, well. I have to come back some other time. You have to come back some other time. They're like, well, we made you choose, but we get to come back to Blue Bayou for free. So, so you win both ways. Do you want your present? Do you, do you want to get the present? I was just like, yeah. Yeah. So we went to Blockbuster, and I got my GameCube from Blockbuster. And here's why I got my GameCube from Blockbuster. Came with the fr- game, the, the Games Freedom Pass. All right? Came this was revolutionary. Them. All right? It came with a year for the Freedom Pass, but yeah. we wound up subscribing to it because it's... Honestly, in the long run, it's a great deal. You basically treat it like a library book. You well, maybe not like a library book. You keep the game as long as you're as no long as you have date. the pass. No, no due date. date. You keep it as long as you want, as long as the pass is open. Yeah, heck yeah. So I got Super Smash Bros. Melee. And I unlocked every single character, and then when <laughs> that year was up, I saved up my money and I bought it. Yeah, I say, and then we renewed it. That so was the same. That was the same night that we. Uh, we let we let the game clock run so we could unlock yeah, you too. Nah. You had to, we unlocked did, them all that night. Dog. You had to let it, you had to have twelve hours of game time. Jeez. Not all of them. Not all of them for uh, for, for Mewtwo. Most of them, but 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 Mewtwo, you had to. Um, Back in the day, it wasn't just you unlocked them. Like yeah. they had specific, very parameters. specific. You want Falco? I miss those days. If you want Falco, you gotta go do a hundred man melee. Now you yeah. would unlock them all eventually yeah. by playing so many matches, but you had to play. Every single match. I miss those days. I but miss like, being able to If you wanted like Ness, that. you had to go do all the target, uh, destroy the target type of character yeah. or whatever, or whoever it was. I can't remember. But like that. I just remember specifically Mewtwo. It was 12 hours. We, we, we heard that Mewtwo was in the game. We didn't know it was real. We kept yeah. trying. Because that was at the time where we didn't have the internet to, yeah, to confirm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. R- rumor has it. So I was like, I heard Mewtwo was in this game. Yeah. And I heard you had to play 12 hours. So we let it run. We both woke up. I was like, Steve, wake up, wake up, wake up. And he was like, all right, we, we fought a match. Mewtwo popped up. We're like, "Yo, he's really in the game. <laughs> he's really there." And uh, so, uh, and and that's that's when we really started getting into uh, blockbuster renting. Because I mean, like, you want to play a Final Fantasy game and beat it? You can finally rent it, and you yep. don't have to worry about the due date. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And so basically, basically, all you had to do is it was a little different. You wouldn't drop it off in the box. You would bring it to the front because they would scan it, and that would like clock it out, and then you'd get the new game. Mm-hmm. But like we kept melee for as long as we could. Like I don't, I didn't keep it the whole time because my parents wouldn't let me. Because my parents said you gotta share it with your brother. Which and then he go get the monster truck game. Well, no. Because <laughs> I'm luckily, joking, I'm luckily this is the GameCube era, so we get to move on. So I got to bring my. Not only did I get that GameCube, but I also got to bring my friends to Blue Bayou because yeah. we didn't have to pay because we lightning. And, stuff. and we got yeah. to ride the black moccasin. Oh yeah. yeah. The black mama, the black, is that what it is? Whatever, yeah. the, the, the big, the big snake, the snake slide. one. That's all. Yeah, the plunge. That one hurts. Yeah. Wait, did you do the one where you go, you go back, and you go? I've done do, that one. You yet. do a flip. It's pretty cool. Sense. It's just, it just feels like you're being birthed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you don't know if you're upside down. Like, it, it, for, for clarification, you remember how, be, how you remember what it was like to be birthed? And I do now. <laughs> <laughs> like, in case you don't know, I'm talking. Clear as day. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a water slide that does a loop de loop at Blue Body. Yeah, oh yeah. wait, the one that they drop you out of. That's, yeah, the, I, I, that's no. the newest one. I did that one. It's, it's fun. It's but you Steve doesn't want you to can't that tell what's because you're going Are so they still open. You're going so fast because uh, of COVID. I don't did know. COVID claim them? I hope not. Uh, you're going so fast that like. You, you just all you, all you feel is water in your face. <laughs> I don't know what's up. I'm almost down, and I'm out. <laughs> and you can't wear a shirt while you do that slide. Sure. If not, it'll just, it'll it, it could possibly decapitate you. Oh, yeah, or good. choke you. Great, because it gets caught in one of those lines, you know. 
But you know what's crazy? Uh, sidebar on Blue Bayou. Blue Bayou is so popular in, in this area that all the Coke cans, like the, yeah. the cans of yep. Coca-Cola, have Blue Bayou coupons, coupons on printed the- on the can. That's wild. We'll buy your opening day, May 22nd, 2020. Also, they reopened. I think, I think I'm gonna make an effort to go because I really. Hey, let's do this. Let's. I hey, took Blue Bayou for hey, granted. Let's go to as adults. Let's go to Blue Bayou. Let's have a fun time. Let's go home and let's plug in get, get. an unsaved melee and unlock all the characters. <laughs> Brandon, I'm. I'm <laughs> can, can you censor me? Because I'm not the. Can you? <laughs> can we? Can do this, please. <laughs> Uh, we could. I might do that for my birthday, I swear to God. Like, I'm turning 30, you know? And I'm gonna... Ooh. Mm, you know, that that sounds like a good f***ing time. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, Sorry, I don't mean to make you do the extra work, but you just... you. I'm a little turned on now, Brandon. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like a good time. And, and you can experience it with us, Jake. Yeah, sure. Yeah, if you'd like. Sure. That's no, he wasn't there the first time. I'm just kidding. I'm serious. I'm serious. <laughs> hey, 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 put that half chewed lightsaber gummy back in your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> we gotta try to pull that off, dog. I'm serious. We no, I think, I think I think the problem with this the problem with adult lives is we have to have permission from our wives and make about kids. Yeah. We can do it at my house, so we <laughs> if y'all can find something to do with y'all kids, we can do this at my house. Child. Uh, but no, I was gonna talk about how I used to buy some toys from Blockbuster. Remember, I bought that weird looking Piccolo Dragon Ball. Yeah, toy. they had some cool toys. They had there, merch. Man. They, they Ours had, didn't have merch. They had they, they, they had licensed stuff that you couldn't find anywhere else. It was it was it was the stuff that you couldn't find anywhere else. It wasn't quite the selection that Toys R Us had. Yeah, but um, but there was no Toys R Us around town. Yeah, the yeah. closest Toys R Us homo was freaking New Orleans. Orleans. Yeah. And, and if you went there, <clears throat> you may have got a cool toy, but you're probably gonna catch a bullet too. <laughs> Or three. <laughs> that, that, that's any experience in New Orleans. Hey, man, yeah. this is a great trip, po' boy. <laughs> oh, give me your wallet. It's a shame. Uh-huh. It really is a shame because New Orleans is such a beautiful city. Other than that. You get to step over the homeless people by that fountain to get to the... <laughs> New Orleans is such a beautiful city. Other than, so, that. Uh, and other than that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Like, <laughs> to go to Margaritaville, you got to step over like five homeless people who, who are pretending that it's, a, it's the Pinocchio's yeah. lock-in. They can sleep wherever they want. That's, that's another a, gamer tale. That's another gamer tale. The Pinocchio's lock in. The, the legendary pa- pa- Pinocchio's lock in. Uh, does anyone else have anything else to say about rental stores? I feel like, are we missing anything? I got a good story about, uh, it's not really so much about rental stores, but uh, but y'all had gone to Blockbuster in Calhoun one day, and y'all came back, and I was there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Steve showed up. He surprised us. Yeah. He popped out of our closet. Oh, serenading us. So, so the funny story. The, the reason I did that is because Brent made the joke one time when I went up there. Brent, I don't know if Brent had a dream or something. Brent was just like, man, Steve. Uh, uh, somehow we got on the subject, and Brent's like, Steve, you need to surprise us one day. Or like, I had a dream that you you came up one day and surprised us, and you were singing "Trapped in the Closet." And you came up the closet. So that's that's what I did. Like I literally. Stephen was serenading us with R. Kelly's "Trapped in the Closet." <laughs> I called Janelle and I was like, Hey, Miss Janelle. I was like, Hey, I, I, you know, I was wondering if you know if you'd be okay with me like coming up and maybe surprising Brandon and Brent one day because. It was just something off the top of my head, and Mr. Nell was like, that sounds like a great idea. I love that idea. Yeah, I do. Did not expect it yeah. at all. And unfortunately, R. Kelly is trapped in prison now. <laughs> well, not unfortunately. He deserves it. Oh, yeah, well, unfortunately for the music, because I did like his music, but yeah. where he belongs. Separate art from the artist. You can still listen yeah. to it. Just try not to think about him peeing on children. Uh, anyways, so <laughs> does anyone else have anything to say? He said it like an old, an old preacher. Don't try to think about him peeing on children. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you guys have anything else to say about a rental store? I mean, there was a point where we just stopped going. Yeah. Uh, it was around the era of PS3 and 360. Yeah. Um, we just... I was an adult at that point. I, at that I was point, I was... Yeah. yeah, I was... I became, you know, a, a preteen to teenager. I was going to middle school at that point. The trade-off for living in the middle of nowhere is that yeah, we uh, kind of upgraded <laughs> our wealth class, I suppose. Yeah. So we just kind of got games instead yeah. of going yeah. to the store. Because also... And then you worked. You, you worked like a dog all, in high school. Also... Blockbuster was like 45 minutes to and from when we lived up there. Yeah. So Blockbuster was a special trip. Yeah. So I mean, it was more <clears throat> worth it just to buy the games. Yeah. Like, and then y'all moved down here, and you was always working. I felt like every time I tried to come up to visit y'all, you always working. So dude, I worked. That's how you got money. That's how you were able to get your game. Yeah, I worked long. every single day. I would because I worked at the grocery store across the, across the highway. I didn't ride the bus. I would I would get done with school. Of course, my grades suffered a little bit, but I would get out of school and I'd walk over to the grocery store, I'd clock in at four o'clock, and I'd work till nine. My mom picked me up, I'd go home, 
go to sleep, go to school, do it all over again every single, and I worked every Saturday. Were you making one, overtime in and, high school? Yes, I was. And That's one, and, crazy. And one Sunday, and I could only work a maximum of five hours a day, I think. Um, I'm surprised child, child labor. No, no, no. Work. I could take breaks. I could take, you break. take well, breaks. I was 16. You have to work, for, you, you have to take a break every so often. Every, until every, you were 18. Yeah, well. Um, every five hours. The thing about it was I was, I talked about it in the last episode a little bit. I was yeah. young for my grade. Because I had a late birthday, yeah. I graduated when I was seventeen, so, so I started Duma. working when I was sixteen. So Duma, baby. So yeah, yeah, dude. You're like right at the cutoff. I miss some days. I guess. I guess my last point would be like I, I, I do miss those days. It was just so much. It was so cool. Like if you had a sleepover plan, like Friday night, like if I was sleeping at Brandon's or Brandon was sleeping at my house, and then our parents would bring us a blockbuster, and we'd just mm-hmm. sit there like, dude, what do we want to rent? What do we want to rent? And then we'd rent it, and we'd literally stay up all night playing the games, like. Stuff was so simple back then, you know? It, it was. <laughs> now we they, got bills and responsibility they, they and children. Was, uh, I, I put that in my little notes, my footnotes. When Jason moved, Jason moved about middle school, and there was a point where I kind of slacked off games. I kind of dipped out of games because wow. that was my that was our thing. It was some our people, weekends. Some people had that. It was our yeah. rental, and we played games. And I played them on my own, but it wasn't the same as, as – because – Rentals and I, in movie theaters is the same thing. That's why I go back to uh, talking about as, as a teenager, late teenager, yeah. early adult, yeah. hanging out with friends was, hey, let's go rent a movie and let's go to the convenience store and get some snacks and let's go to such and such an apartment and go watch much more. But it was the same thing with games and that rental store is that that thing to do. You know, you know I don't, I don't, so I don't touch on know what are kids these days do now. Oh, yeah. like, I don't know. Like see. sometimes I think about like if I would have had that that span where I didn't play games where I get to come back and be like oh so this is what I missed yeah because I, I never I've been playing video games forever yeah 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 <laughs> it, it's 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 a part of the stuff I know like I, don't, I, don't I, never kinda, had, I never had that video in my um, yeah. so uh, one thing I wanted to point out um, was that so I kind of replicate that feeling of the rental store with the, with the game shelf over there so sure. I have I have all kinds of different games I don't have like an actual rental store set up or anything but it's so fun because you can go like my nieces and nephews love to come in here and just pull these relics yeah, off the read. shelf what and is this? look at it like Brandon why does this cartridge look like this what is this game what is this game what is that where's game where's the disc yeah uh, they'll um, and, and what's cool is that my collecting story started as of course working at the grocery store mm-hmm. getting money and I was like you know what I want all the games that I used to rent and I didn't want to let go and that's how it started I went and got Mega Man Legends yeah. Tomba 1 and 2 uh, Gex all the Gex games Legend of Lagaya uh, I mean you name it like all the games and demos that I used to have I wanted the full games I will go and buy yeah. them and that's how it yeah. started and then I just kind of started collecting like I'd say like oh here's Doom for the Super Nintendo for yeah. $2 why not why not right. and I used to love I mean you were around when I used to like I would just I'd go to I'd go to Gameware yeah. and I would just be like yeah there's a little stint we were like here's a hundred dollars I'm like I got a hundred dollar bill what can I do with this because I had no, nothing else to do with my money yeah. and I was like you know what I'm I'm just gonna get a hundred dollars worth of stuff that I want mm-hmm. and I would I would see like oh there's a power glove here here's a hundred bucks yeah. alright here's uh, which I got less for a hundred bucks I got it for or like Earthbound I remember I saw Earthbound I was like I've always wanted this game and I got that how much for, is that game sir uh, two, two, two hundred. How much is that game, sir? Two hundred dollars. Hey, Mister. How hey, Mister. Uh, but no, that's how, how my collection kind of started. Was those games I rented? I remember specifically the one that I always wanted that always escaped me because I w- I would always go out in the wild and look for these games and I would collect things as like if I walked in and I didn't find my target, I would still get some stuff just because why not? But I remember Tombo one yeah, and two. Say Tombo. Tombo one and two. Could never get a hold of. I always oh, wanted poor that. Poor Brandon game. asked his mom every year, every single year. Brandon would put Tombo one and two on his Christmas. Lights. And Mega Man X. Oh, and yeah. Mega, Mega Man X three too. Just my Mega head. Man X three wouldn't happen. Um, <laughs> take it back off what you said. Continue. Poor Janelle, I ain't got that. Uh, but no, that, that's what I wanted to say. Is that that's kind of where my my story ended. Was I was like, well, once you know, uh, Blockbuster and rental stores went the way of the dinosaur. Um, I was like, you know, I just want to, um... Get a get on the floor. <laughs> uh, that reminds me of the Mario. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's that's kind of was my, my thing, was, was picking all these games back up and, yeah. and owning them. I had, a, I had a small, small segment of that same feeling. Remember, remember when I was trying to search for Utopia? Yeah. For SNES? Uh-huh. Do you know where that came from? Uh-huh. It came from a Jason and me uh, rental one rental? night. And that we rented that game, like, oh, this is in space. Let's check this game out. And, of course, as kids in RTS back then, on the, yeah. oh, especially on the SNES, it's kind of like... Okay, well, but we but we were really big in SimCity back then. He played SimCity on DOS. 
on the computer. I remember I rented uh, uh, Kirby's Dream Course. I didn't understand it. Understand. And, <laughs> oh, yeah, right. and that's actually an incredible game. Yeah, I remember yeah. you and Brad going back and saying, yeah, this game is really good. It's actually really but, fun. But um, I had to go back and find that game because we rented it and we loved it. We loved that game so much, we rented it again. We'd sit there and we'd play it. And if one wasn't playing, because it was a single player game, yeah. we, the other was playing with Legos and he was building his own space base. Oh, and it was just that kind of stuff. Yeah. I remember sometimes I would I'd, I'd get to rent a game, Brent would get to rent a game, mine would suck, I'd go play his mm-hmm. or vice versa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. I just I miss I miss that culture. I miss I miss the. Of course, it's childhood, but I miss going to the store. Yeah, because that's where you would get to talk to other people. <clears throat> you'd, yeah. you'd walk down the sixty-four aisle, see another kid, and you'd talk to them. Well, I didn't because I was antisocial, but you could make friends there. Um, now, as far as movies are concerned, so it's, it's a kind of the same the same side, a different side of the same coin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I wanted to talk about the video game portion. Today. You know what's crazy is in, in, in closing. You know what's this this conversation might happen in their you know, let's say no. let's say ten years, but like game stops. Like that's gonna be. There might be a point where we get to I hope, where we. I hope well, not. Now, well, we're talking. About, I don't like. I mean, you're talking about physical media in general. Though. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm just but, going into yeah. it. But I don't know. There will always be that crowd who wants the physical media, and here's why it's important. Uh, I don't know if you saw the thing about like everyone's freaking out because the PS5 battery is gonna die eventually, sure. and you won't be able to play your digital downloads. Yeah. Uh, or you won't be able to do something. And they're like, well, if you have the disk drive version, you can put in the disk because you'll still play or whatever. Preservationists are are really anal about that. But who's who's to say that the PS6 comes out and it's not fully backwards compatible with everything? Yeah. It's, um, I really wish they would. I, really, I mean, I, I just, there's that, so many. That's the problem with everything going digital is yeah. you can't preserve that. And people, like, that's why we talked about it on the Little Jolly Gamer Show podcast episode whatever it was our most recent episode we talked about the ps3 store shutting down that's why it's scary imagine all the movies that were in blockbuster but yeah you can't can't get them you can't get them anymore they don't exist i hope that someone adds them to their collection on netflix because if not right let's pretend netflix let's say netflix exists but the physical media for all the things on netflix doesn't if netflix decides to pull the plug or get rid of a certain thing it's gone forever and what if your favorite movie is Disney's Holes yeah. and Disney's Holes gets erased from existence then yeah. too bad is that on Disney Plus yet? oh yeah it is yeah, um, or I mean that's kind of like Disney locking things up in the Disney fall sorry I know that's another discussion from the other day but it, that, that kind of got me thinking the same I, I'm glad you brought that up about like just talking with people sharing kind of like you run to a guy he's, he's looking at a, a game or a case and like have you played that yet? You know, and you just make the discussion. You, yeah. you you get those personalities. It's kind of the same thing with GameStop. That's why I brought that up. But that I I guess in closing, that's, I'll say this. I, I'm glad I got to be a part of that stuff. Absolutely. Because, because there's there's a generation that doesn't know that. Yep. You know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and it's 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 strange. I thought for a while there with the the way the world was going, I was I thought I was going to have to explain yeah. to my son. Yeah. And I don't know. It's still kind of scary. Sure. Um, I got to explain to him what a movie theater was. Yeah. I went, to the, yeah. I went to the movies. I ordered a, a ticket from the movies. This is a total sidebar. They give you the option now because ticket sales are so low, you can rent out the whole theater. What? So if you guys ever want to go see a movie in, in the Dolby Theater with all the cool sound, 200 bucks, you get the whole theater yourself. yourself. That's insane. Yeah, that's, that's, that's scary. They, they're offering that because yeah, sales get are so low. For HBO Max. I just watched it on HBO but anyways, I think that's all anyways, I was saying. Yeah, right. yeah, thanks thanks for this trip down memory lane. Holy crap. Yeah, it got me thinking. It feels good and bad at the same time. Yeah, yeah. It feels clean and dirty <laughs> at the same, same time. time. At the same time. That we never get uh, But anyway, if you like this episode of Gamer Tales, please go check out our first episode. It's really good. Mm. Uh, it kind of pertains to the rental stores a little bit as well. Um, and let us know what you think. Do you have any memories of rental stores you want to talk to us? Uh, go to our Facebook page, Little Jolly Gamer Show, or message us on LittleJollyGamerShow at gmail.com. I mean, yeah, I mean at gmail. Did I say gmail.com? You said gmail. Okay. Yeah, gmail. My brain's melting. It's okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, dude, um, Blockbuster. Uh, our nice. rental stores. Rental stores in general. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks for listening. I'm Steve. Oh, that, that, oh wait, that. did we do that in this one? I don't know. <laughs> this podcast? Ah, I'm Jacob, I guess. I don't know. <laughs>